Leo Cullen, uh, a five-point loss here in the Kingspan Stadium. What's your immediate reaction? Uh, frustrated for the guys, really. Um, you know, I thought there was plenty of endeavour out there. He worked really hard. Conditions we knew were going to be a challenge. Um, rain started here coming to the ground. <laughs> sort of got heavier and heavier and heavier. Um, you know, so it was tough conditions out there. You know, pitch very, very sandy. Um, so it was, you know, particularly as it got very, very wet towards the end. Um, so this is going to be hard. Um, I thought the intent was good. You know, we, in terms of our attack, particularly in the first half, um, and created some good opportunities. We probably gave up scores a little bit too cheaply on the flip side of that. So. Um, probably didn't make Ulster work hard enough for some of the scores that they did get, um, which obviously meant they had that 18-point to 10 lead at halftime. Uh, started the second half well, lost kicks to penalty, get back to 18-13. And you know, we had some chances with more probably territory and possession in the second half than Ulster did, um, but we couldn't just quite capitalise it. So it, it's frustrating. Um, I'm, I'm, you know, we're, I think we're, we're pleased that the guys, you know, they fronted up well, I thought. Um, because we know it's going to be tough up here um, and we've a good number of young guys out there as well particularly guys coming off the bench um, special mention obviously for Tim who's made his debut there but you know overall yeah like it's yeah like, disappointed I guess is, is the is the main feeling uh, maybe hard to take some comfort from it at the moment but that losing bonus point the lads sticking in it and because uh, Ulster had opportunities towards the end there and you know that losing bonus point could be crucial towards the end of the season we see how tight it is at the top of the table at the moment yeah exactly yeah, like, and that, that's the thing so whatever way the game plays out you make sure you're just scrapping for everything you possibly can so um, you get a point and like it, it's move on you're away from home um, as I said like, this is always going to be a tricky period for us you know we have a good chunk of guys away um, which has been a brilliant experience for some of the younger players um, and you know it'll stand to those guys in the future so we're trying to just take some of the positives from some of these games um, we've gone hard the last five weeks and um, had some great support in the RDS been away for the last couple of weekends now um, and you know, we've, we've no game next week and then we're again a couple of away games uh, with the other in the pros Connacht and then Munster um, we'll have tried to reintegrate the Irish guys during the course of those couple of weeks and that leads us into Europe so lots of exciting action um, you know and we're on as I said, we're on the road for a few of those games, three in a row. So, um, be a good tough challenge for us. And so I think today gave us a real flavour of what the inner pro games are all about. So, two teams going hard at it, and you know that's what you want. Finally, Leo, just a lot of talk over the last couple of weeks of this block of five games. I know it's a disappointing end to it, but I'm sure plenty of positives that you will take from this block of five. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like you know, to see a couple of guys. You know, make their Leinster debuts in, in recent weeks has been pleasing um, and some other young academy players getting some game time and experience and exposure at this level so um, it'll definitely stand to guys and um, yeah now for us now it's you know, as I said we'll have a bit of a recharge of batteries over the next few days and um, with no game next weekend and uh, then just get very excited you know for the last block of games and you know we all want to be in the big days in big stadiums with lots of Leinster fans there and uh, that's the bit that's really pushing guys on at the moment. So um, we've got ourselves in a reasonable position, as you say. It's, it is tight at the top of the URC. You know, Europe is a very unusual dynamic this year with the home and away last 16 round of games. And you know, we'll just wait and see where we are at the end of that, at the end of play. So if you think it's, it's almost like we've got this block of four games, you know, then we'll we'll, we'll reassess. We've a group, a group that will travel to South Africa off the back of that. So it's an incredibly exciting block of games and. Um, yeah, hopefully we get plenty of support along the way.